हेलो गाइज आई एम पनीता एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टू पॉलिश योर सी एस सी कंसेप्ट विथ मी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी ऑपरेटर प्रेसिडेंस पार्सर हाउ टू पार्स एनी ग्रामर विद द हेल्प ऑफ ऑपरेटर प्रेसिडेंस टेबल सो एज वे नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन एल आर पार्सर्स एल एल वन पार्सिंग फॉर ऑल दोज पार्सिंग टेक्निक्स वी यूज टू क्रिएट पर्टिकुलर टेबल्स राइट यू मस्ट हैव रिमेंबर सिमिलरली फॉर पार्सिंग एनी ऑपरेटर प्रेसिडेंस ग्रामर और ऑपरेटर ग्रामर वी नीड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट समथिंग दैट इज नोन एज ऑपरेटर प्रेसिडेंस टेबल फाइन सो दिस इज एक्चुअली वेरी स्मॉल एंड ईजी टॉपिक बट मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर फेसिंग क्वाइट डिफिकल्टी और आई कैन से कन्फ्यूजन इन ड्रॉइंग दिस टेबल सो डू आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दैट हाउ टू ड्रॉ दिस टेबल एंड हाउ टू फिल द एंट्रीज इन दीज टेबल्स इट इज एक्चुअली वेरी ईजी सो हाउ कैन वी डू दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज अ ग्रामर दैट इज गिवन फाइन फॉर एग्जाम्पल एनी ग्रामर विल बी गिवन एंड वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज यू हैव टू मेक द ऑपरेटर प्रेसिडेंट स्टेबल एंड बेस्ड ऑन द ग्रामर यू हैव टू मेक एंट्रीज ऑन इट सो लेट सी हाउ टू डू इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल येस आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड द वीडियो ऑन ऑपरेटर प्रेसिडेंट्स ग्रामर ओवर व्यू दैट वॉट दिस ग्रामर इज ऑल अबाउट वाई इट इज डिफरेंट दैन अदर्स प्लीज चेक दैट वीडियो वंस इफ यू हैव नॉट चेक दट येट सो दैट यू विल गेट अ क्लियर आइडिया स्टिल इफ आई Uh, say here one of the biggest speciality of this grammar is that um, operator precedence grammar is or operator precedence parser is the only parser that can parse ambiguous grammar also all the other parsers are able to parse only the unambiguous grammar but this is a parser that can uh, parse both ambiguous as well as unambiguous grammar so this is the speciality about operator precedence parser fine okay so let's say this is the grammar given to us and we have to parse it with the help of operator precedence table so how to make it as the name itself indicates operator precedence that means what in this uh, grammar or in this parser we are going to give more precedence or more priority to the operators so how to make the table in making the table see horiz uh, horizontally and vertically i have to make Uh, i have to write all the operators that is present in my grammar so in this grammar if we see which are the operators that are present uh, this exponential at the rate ampersand and minus fine these are the operators that are present and all these other a b c d e capital and this id these are id is terminal and all the other non terminal but in making the table we just have to write all the operators so here we are writing all the operators that are present in our grammar so we have to write all the operators as well as uh, this terminal also right so we have written all of them and one extra operator that we have to append is dollar fine we have appended this and we have written all the other operators here now so this is simple horizontally and vertically we will just write all the operators appending dollar now how to fill this table we have to fill this table as per the precedence and associativity right okay so uh, let me let's go step by step in case of id and id we cannot decide their priority so always the cell which is the intersection cell of id and id it will be always empty like this cell fine so this is that is the first rule second rule is whenever two same operators are colliding uh, like this exponential and exponential at the rate at the rate ampersand ampersand minus minus and dollar dollar uh, okay these four see the first rule is always the intersection of id and id will be blank we will remain it blank or you can write a small dash because we cannot decide the priority among these two fine this is the first rule the second rule is always id and id the intersection of id and id means what except it is the acceptance state so if you write except here and then whenever we are having m um, uh, like exponential exponential at the rate at the rate same uh, operators how we will fill these operators based on the associativity get this difference that whenever there is any uh, intersection cell of two same operators like these four we will fill these four on the basis of 
um, associativity and we will fill all the other boxes or all the other cells on the basis of precedence so that is the main difference you must be knowing what is the difference between uh, you must be knowing what is associativity and what is precedence so now how we will get uh, what about how we will get the associativity and precedence of the operators we will get it based on this grammar fine now first of all let's uh, talk about precedence how to check the precedence see what is the flow of the grammar first of all we are having the production for a a gives b and again b gives something but see if we only see the last one uh, let's see the main flow of the grammar a can give b again b can give c c can give d d can give e and e is again giving terminal id so that means what the flow goes like this that a is giving b b gives c c gives d and d gives e so when our flow goes flow of the grammar goes like this most of the flow of most of the grammars you will get like this only in this case what happens at the time of checking the priority you can check that the last variable whatever the last variable is there its priority will be uh, like it will be having the most important precedence that means whenever we are growing if you are making you can check it directly like this also you can check directly the flow or you can make a table also that a gives uh, b power a and b like this you can go on making the tree also as you must be knowing after making the tree how we are deciding the priority the priority we are deciding from bottom to top that means what whichever variable or whichever operator specifically whichever operator is at the bottom that is having the most priority then less then less and like that so here my flow goes this like a to b b to c c to d and d to e so how will check my priority so my priority will be checked like this that means whichever operator is at the end that will be having more priority so if i check here first of all we i am from bottom we have to check right so from bottom first of all i am having minus so i can say that minus is having more priority than m percent m percent is having more priority than at the rate at the rate is having more priority than exponential fine in this way we can decide the priority so 1 2 3 and 4 yes or we have already decided these four priorities apart from that uh, one of the important thing that you must be knowing is uh, if we talk about id then id is having id is always having the highest priority this is one of the rule you have to remember this is true for all the cases id will always be having the highest priority and dollar will always be having the lowest priority so yes this uh, this procedure is very simple but there are certain things that you must be remembering again okay we will revise quickly uh, after we end it so for now what i told is if the two operators are similar we will fill it as per the associativity and apart from that all the other cells we will uh, fill it based on the priority or precedence okay so this is what this is we uh, this is what we decided about the precedence and uh, other two precedences are id is having the highest precedence and dollar is having the lowest precedence so that's all about precedence then we are having okay let's fill the table as per the precedence so if i talk about here okay let's start from first column um in terms of id and exponential which one is having more precedence id see in terms of id we know that id is not comparable at all because id will always have the highest precedence so in the column of id we will write so based on id if we compare with id all these operators will be having less precedence right because id is having the highest precedence so compared to id all these operators will be having less precedence so i will do less than sign in all these columns so this column is done similarly i know that dollar is having lowest precedence that means all these operators will be having a uh, higher precedence than dollar so in dollar in the column of dollar i have written all the greater than sign fine and i have already told that dollar dollar means except so these all will be having 
less than sign these all will be having greater than sign so these two columns are done now if i am coming here in the column of exponential so first of all co comparing exponential and id we know that id will be having again see in id here we have written less than similarly i know that id is having the highest precedence so here in this row i am having id and in this column whatever operators are there but id will always be having higher precedence so here everywhere i have to write greater than greater than because id is this side so greater than right similarly here dollar is there and all the other and dollar will be having less precedence than all these operators so here in all this in this full row i am will be having less than fine so this and this i can directly do on the basis of id and this row and this column i can directly do on the basis of the precedence of dollar because we know these two things so these two columns and these two rows we can fill at the very first place fine then similarly and then let's see we have done these we are done with these this column we are done with this first row and we are done with this last row also fine okay now let's see now these four boxes are what they are having they are the intersection of same operators so let's leave these four for now and let's see remaining uh, here it is the intersection of at the rate and exponential so if i compare at the rate and exponential you can see here at the rate and exponential at the rate is having more precedence so greater than similarly similarly ampersand and exponential ampersand and exponential ampersand is having greater uh, precedence so ampersand and exponential ampersand is having greater uh, greater precedence similarly i hope you have understood i have shown you how to do this so based on this here greater than greater than and greater than so based on these signs you have to decide that whether you will place greater than or less than in that particular cell uh, fine so you just have to take care of these things so similarly you can fill all the other cells now about these four cells what i told is here when we are having see why these four cells will be different because um, uh, this cell is the intersection of exponential and exponential right now if i uh, see the precedence then obviously the precedence of um, exponential will be the same but so how i can fill this so as the precedence of this exponential will be same i will be filling this cell as per their associativity right now how to check associativity let me show you here we will see it on the basis of grammar see a gives b um, exponential a now here we are having a here we are having a so here we are having a in the rightmost side of the grammar so i can say that exponential is right associative see i have written here got it how to check similarly see here b gives b at the rate c so b is present in the leftmost side of the production that means i can say that a is sorry m percent is left associative similarly here m percent is there and this c is present in the rightmost side of the production so i can say that c is again right associative here this d is again present at the rightmost side of the production so i can say that d sorry this minus this operator this minus is also right associative so this is how we will check right associative or left associative fine so we have decided this uh, associativity of the operators now when i am having exponent and exponent how i can decide i will write it here on the basis of their associativity now if i write if i see the associativity of exponent so the associativity of exponent is right so what i have to do is uh, i have to do this open one on the right side that means this uh less than sign will be there similarly um at the rate at the rate it is left associative so this open side will be on the left side so i have to write greater than sign here uh, similarly m percent m percent m percent is right so again it will be open side on the right side that means less than sign and again for minus we are having right associative so open side will be on the right side and so it will be less than sign so i hope you have understood it these are the couple of things so i have taken an example in which i could have shown you in which i have uh, i was able to show you all the uh, tricks about how to check the associativity how to check precedence and all so i hope you have understood let me quickly revise it once 
all the operators we have to write vertically and horizontally i will write all the operators fine first of all id id will always remain blank dollar dollar will always give acceptance state apart from that whenever there is an intersection cell of two same operators we will fill it on the base of on the basis of associativity associativity we can see like this that if it is right associative then the operator will be right uh, right associative if the if like this if the grammar is left recursive then i can say that the operator is left associative like that we can decide the associativity and apart from these all the other uh, cells we can fill it on the basis of precedence we can see precedence flow like this as i have explained you and apart from that two important things to remember is id will always be having the highest precedence and dollar will always be having the lowest precedence so if you are aware of this couple of things you can always get this type of question right right because these questions are very simple to solve you just Uh, you should be knowing only this couple of things very clearly in your mind i hope you have understood that fine so this is all about operator precedence parser how we can draw the operator precedence table and fill it if you think that my video was helpful please share and subscribe the channel and let me know that you liked it by leaving the like and comment in this video thank you so much